A couple of days ago, we reported that a pair of Russian Su-27s had first dumped gas on and then collided with a U.S. Air Force MQ-9 Reaper drone over the Black Sea. Now the Defense Visual Information Distribution System, DIVIDS, has just released some amazing footage taken from the drone right before it was ditched due to damage to the propeller sustained during the midair with the Russian fighter. First, a quick review. The Su-27 Flanker is one of the Russian Air Force's frontline air-to-air platforms. And like all tactical jets, it has the ability to dump fuel because landing with full tanks would likely break the landing gear. In the Tomcat, for instance, we would take off at 64,000 pounds. That's without any ordnance. 20,000 pounds of that was gas. But the heaviest we could weigh when landing back on the carrier was 54,000 pounds. So often we would have to dump excess gas before coming back aboard the boat. The MQ-9 has been in operational use since 2007. Its missions include long-endurance, high-altitude surveillance and reconnaissance roles, as well as an armed hunter-killer role. In this case, we can assume it was doing surveillance over the Black Sea. So let's analyze this new video footage. So we see the first flanker coming at the drone. They're flying the same direction. Dumps are on. Gets close enough to disturb the camera. But that one didn't hit. Now here's the second pass, different sun angle, so the airplane has turned a little bit. Dumps on, and there's the collision. Makes the camera go to color bars. And then you can see the propeller is now damaged. And again, they ditched the drone as a result of that damage. More on this situation as the information becomes available, so if you're not already a subscriber, click the button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. And don't forget, we have a newsletter called The Mooch Report that comes out every Tuesday. Check the episode description for more on that. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again very soon.